So we're going to work on classifying triangles. This should be an easy one for you guys because y'all definitely did this in middle school and plenty of times before. So um, if we're looking at the sides of this triangle, all the sides are AB, BC, and AC. All the angles of the triangle are angles A, ang angle B, and angle C. And then my vertices are all of the angles, which are A, B, and C. All right, classifications by angle. So an acute triangle is a triangle where all angles are less than 90. An equiangular triangle is a triangle with three congruent angles, all of which will be 60 degrees because all angles of a triangle add up to be 180. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So equiangular triangle, all angles are congruent or equal, and all angles equal 60 degrees. An obtuse triangle is a triangle with an angle greater than 90. And then a right triangle is a triangle with an angle of 90 degrees. All right, so let's work on classifying. If all of these have congruent angles and they're all 60 degrees, this is equiangular. This one has an obtuse angle, so it's an obtuse triangle. This one does have a 90 degree angle, so it's a right triangle. All right, let's focus on triangle PQS. So because there are two 45s and this one's a right, it's still a right triangle. And then on triangle QRS, it is still a right triangle. Then on the whole triangle itself, the whole thing, this top one ends up being 104 degrees. So triangle PQR is obtuse. Okay, now we're going to classify by sides. Equilateral has three congruent sides. Isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. And a scaling triangle has all sides are different. So it might look like that, or it might give you actual angle measures like that. So no congruent sides or equal sides even. All right, examples we need to classify these triangles because this one has two congruent sides. It's an isosceles. Because this one has three different sides. It's a scalene. And this one has three equal sides. So it's an equilateral. So if we're talking about sides, it's an equilateral. If we're talking about angles, it's an equiangular. If M is the midpoint of JL, that means that this is also the same length, then classify JKM. J, J, 
So if M is the midpoint, then these two are the same, which makes each of the individual ones 0.75 here, 0.75 here, in order to make 1.5 as a total. And if both of those are 0.75, this one's also 0.75, which makes JKM an equilateral triangle. Solve for x if triangle RST is an equilateral triangle. So if it's equilateral, all the sides are equal to each other. You just choose two to set equal to each other. It doesn't matter which two you choose because they're all the same. I'm going to set these two equal. Subtract 2x from both sides, and x is 7. Although I do have to tell you that um, this problem isn't accurate because if you were to plug in these two, you would get a different x value. Um, but just know, because it says it's an equilateral, it's supposed to work out that way, but it's not going to. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, but anyway, equilateral, they're all equal to each other. Isosceles, these two are the only two equal to each other for isosceles triangles. So 4y is equal to 3y plus 2, subtract 3y from both sides, and y is 2. Classify the triangle on a co coordinate plane. All right, so we have C, which is negative 1, 4, A, which is at 5, 1, and T, which is at negative 3, 0. All right, what needs to happen is that we need to find the slope of each of these lines. And, well, the distance, I'm sorry, not slope, distance. And then that will tell us, because if we're supposed to um, classify it, it'll tell us um, the side measures. There's no real good way to do angle measures, but we can do sides. You could do it with slopes, though. Um, but it becomes problematic. So typically when you see this, we're using distance. So if we're going to find the distance of all of them, let's do CT. You could use the distance formula with those equations if you want to. I prefer using Pythagorean theorem just because I feel like it's easier. So we have 2 squared plus 1, 2, 3, 4 squared is equal to CT squared. 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20, and to undo it, you take the square root, so CT is equal to the square root of 20. All right, let's see if any of the other ones are the same or not. CA squared is equal to 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squared. So CA squared is equal to 9 plus 36. CA squared is equal to 45. Square root of both, which means that CA is equal to the square root of 45. And then lastly, we've got AT. which is 1 squared plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 squared. 1 squared is 1, 8 squared is 64, 8 squared is equal to 65, take the square root of both, 8 is equal to the square root of 65. All of these are different, making this a scalene triangle. So that's how you would classify by sides. You would find the distance of all of them. I chose to do Pythagorean theorem. You could have just done the distance formula if you wanted to. It's whichever one is easier for you. And that's the end of our notes.